Well, here we are after eight units. Um, it's um, it's a little bit sad in a way to be finishing up, but um, it's um, it's been a quite a long journey, I think. And if you if you really have taken the entire the entire course from you know, unit one all the way to through to unit eight, then you, know, you should be very very pleased with yourself because this is a a very complex and multifaceted area of, of science that involves many levels you know you have to you have to kind of you have to know a little bit of chemistry you need to, you need to know some pharmacology some physiology and some some neuroscience and even a little bit of psychology and cognitive science and things like that so it's it's it is challenging um, and but hopefully um, I did a reasonable job of of taking you through that this kind of tour of psychedelic neuroscience and it's been a it's been a labor of love for me it's been um, a long journey for me as well um, but it's kind of my my offering um, to the psychedelic community I guess um, to to have really have the privilege to tell you everything that I've learned as I said about psychedelic drugs in the last 25 years and um, this is on record now so you know I have to um, answer to it I guess um, yeah so you, you know if we think about psychedelics are a they've been they've dominated my life in, for the last 25 years and uh, and they I still struggle, as you can see, I still struggle to kind of verbalize um, the kind of the significance and the importance and, and, and the awe and the, just the, the, the tremendous fascination and bewilderment sometimes and astonishment uh, of psychedelic drugs. Um, and it's, uh, it's a great privilege really to be able to, uh, to study them uh, and, and to learn about them and to develop some level of understanding of them and that's really what it, that's kind of my gift to you I guess over the over the last eight units is it was to say yes these are magical things and astonishing things and remarkable drugs uh, that are mysterious and bizarre but that we do possess some power some ability um, to develop some level of understanding of, of these drugs and understanding of what's actually going on in the brain of these drugs. And we know that these drugs, they're not just tools for exploring consciousness and exploring our reality and the potentials uh, of consciousness, uh, but they are showing themselves to be remarkable tools uh, for psychotherapeutics, people suffering from hideously uh, debilitating psychological conditions, you know, horrific, you know, depressions and anxiety and post-traumatic stress disorder and and I think in in the next few years um, based largely you know or at least to a significant de degree on what we've learned about psychedelics um, these drugs are going to revolutionize the treatment of, of, of a number of psychiatric conditions it's going to be a revolutionary change in in, in the treatment of, of people who who suffer uh, on a daily basis um, so it's um, you know it's not not to be something uh, not something to be taken lightly I would say um, these are truly remarkable molecules and for me it's there's nothing else I want to be doing with my life than, than thinking and writing and studying and researching and dancing with with psychedelic drugs um, yes I, I'm, I'm I'm the DMT guy but um, you know I, I have a fascination with all types of psychedelic drugs um, so yes uh, I think that's all I have to say really um, congratulations if you've made it this far um, there's so much more that I could have uh, discussed and talked about but already this is a, a pretty long and intense and intensive and detailed and comprehensive and thorough kind of course already. So I think we've we've come quite far when you think about we you know we started talking about 
action potentials and concentration gradients of ions, and then we come all the way to actually being able to uh, dis discuss and think about Aldous Huxley's uh, mescaline experiences or Alexander Shulgin's experiences with, with psychedelics uh, and actually think, yeah, okay, I, we kind of understand what's going on in the brain now with this. And, and, we're, and we're, we're beginning to also understand what's going on, on in the brain when someone takes the, you know, perhaps the most remarkable of all psychedelic drugs, the most astonishing of all psychedelic drugs, uh, DMT. And, and certainly in the years to come, there's going to be a lot more uh, to say about DMT. So um, that's me done. I'm about to open a a rather, rather decent uh, bottle of sake. Actually, they all taste pretty much the same, to be honest. Uh, but anyway, this is, yes, yeah, so. Hmm. So, um, happy explorations in the psychedelic world. Please do, um, please do comment and suggestions. Be nice though, uh, on and you know. Let me know if you enjoyed the course and if you have any suggestions about future courses, which I might do. Probably not as long as this one, but yeah. Be, please do be in contact. Please follow me, of course, on on Instagram and Twitter if you want to uh, communicate with me. Go to my website. So Alien Insect that is on Twitter, of course, as you know by now. Uh, go to my website for all my other writings on on psychedelics, um, and if you want to donate uh, you know a coffee or something i think that's what the kids do right yeah donate a coffee there are links as i said uh, you've been told at the end of every video basically uh, there are you know you can a couple of dollars or whatever uh, it all helps uh, and help will help in the production of future courses actually um, you know this you know the equipment and the time and stuff and the software and stuff it's you know it's it can get expensive but anyway you know but if not that's also fine as well this is not i'm not doing um, I'm not expecting to be paid for this. Uh, this is just a labor of love. Anyway, 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 enough rambling. So please uh, be nice, work hard, be nice to people and um, have a wonderful magical journey uh, through this crazy fucking world. Cheers. <laughs>